Hi, welcome to this latest episode of Lightboard Lessons, and today we're going to talk about the Big IP Cloud Edition. What is Big IP Cloud Edition? Well, it is a solution that we just released that combines new features within Big IQ 6.0 and the existing per app VE license to help unify network, security, and application teams, allowing them to collaborate more effectively in the rapid delivery of secure, appropriately supported applications. Big IP Cloud Edition simplifies and centralizes core device and app services management functions like setup, licensing, upgrades, analytics, and scaling. These services are defined, updated, and deployed for each individual application through a self-service catalog available through either a traditional uh, graphical user interface or likely more appropriately through an API, and that's accessible as appropriate to the assigned role-based access controls available uh, to, your, uh, to your tenants. And so, before I start drawing up the architecture of the Cloud Edition, let's talk about a couple use cases. The first one I want to talk about is a dedicated service uh, for applications. I used to work in an environment where we had mission critical, business critical, and non-critical applications. But they were all shared on you know, a, a tier of, of big IPs. And so, if uh, you needed to upgrade a big IP for a non-critical application, well, you couldn't do that because there were some uh, dependencies for mission critical apps on the version for that big IP. So uh, the opportunity for Cloud Edition and the per app VE instance is isolation between your business units, minimizing that cross org version restrictions and dependencies. Another one is your app team self-service. So in, a, in an agile development life cycle with your DevOps teams, uh, allows you to leverage app templates on the big IQ centralized management side. Uh, to have workflow APIs uh, equipping your DevOps teams to achieve all of the CI CD awesomeness that's, uh, that's available. So, a lot of more use cases. Those are the two I'll talk about. Um, you know, we'll have documentation. Chase is going to release an article that will support some of the stuff I'll cover here. There will also be uh, more documentation coming out on the, on the release side. But let's talk about Big IQ to start with. And we'll, we'll put that right here in the middle because we're going to grow from here. All right, so we have Big IQ, and this is 6.0 and up. All right, and so within the Big IQ for the cloud, we have our service catalog. This is where your application um, uh, templates would be uh, defined, your, your device templates, your application templates, and, and whatnot. You also have your service scaling policies defined here. And we'll, we'll get to that architecture here in a minute. And then all your visibility and reporting. And then of course your license management. Okay. And then the other components uh, on the management side is you have your data collection device, okay? And then within the data collection device, obviously you're doing your collection. Otherwise, that would be a very bad name. And then you have uh, your data processing, your search function, and of course your storage. And on your data collection device, you know, storage, that, that should be performance storage for obvious reasons. And then, so this is, this is kind of the, the, the big IP, or I mean, sorry, the big IQ components. And then if you kind of roll that out into the, the various functional areas for that, you have your uh, role-based access controls. So, you know, we talked about your you know, your NetOps teams, your SecOps, your app dev, and so on. So you've got your, your RBAC uh, there, all your role definitions. Then you have your app templates. And, um, and then you have your device templates as well. And this is how your devices themselves, your, your per app VEs, 
uh, will be built. So that's all policy based. And you know, that's going to determine you know, whether that's a 25 meg uh, VE or a 200 meg VE. And those are the two sizes that are available here. And then also whether that is LTM or advanced WAF. So your device templates, that stuff will be uh, determined there. And then of course we have the visibility part that we already talked about. And this is where your uh, reporting engine and uh, analytics and, and all that will, will be part of that. And then your license management. And so your, all your, your key management. And I'm terrible at drawing keys, but I will give my bet. Hey, that's not too bad. All right. So this is kind of the, the functional areas within um, Big IQ and the data, um, uh, data collection device. Now from sizing perspective, uh, this uh, should definitely be an HA pair. And your, um, uh, your minimum recommendation here is uh, for C, uh, vCPU and uh, uh, 8 gigs of RAM. And then, you know, that can go up to 8 vCPU and 16 gigs of RAM. And then over here on your data collection device, uh, the recommendation there is 8 vCPU and uh, 32 gigs. And then, as I said before, performance storage um, is kind of critical there. All right. The next part of the architecture is actually the, what do we do? What are we managing and all here? And this is where the per app VE stuff comes in. And that is managed through two different uh, cloud uh, services available. And that's through AWS. So we'll put in an AWS up here. And the, the scaling part for AWS is going to be ELB. Okay, that's the Amazon ELB Classic. And, uh, and then so all of your per app VEs, uh, so this might be a, let's say this is a single app, and we're just drawing the infrastructure for that app, but say that uh, you, know, you have scaled out four, um, four of the 25 meg VEs to handle the, the traffic load of that. And then maybe you have another app in here that, that just needs you know, a single um, one VE. But say this is a, um, a 200 meg, and these are 25 uh, meg each. And so, you know, this, this here is that you, you scale, your scaling increment on a 200 meg instance is obviously eight times the size of a 25. So if you, you don't want to deal with the, the scale, the spin ups have been down uh, near as often, and you just want that overage there to feel better about it, you know, you can deploy that. Or if you just want to scale up, you know, as you need it, and, and, and those can uh, grow at 25. So, you know, less, less footprint here, less cost initially, and you just kind of scale up and scale down more efficiently, uh, but, you know, more readily available to handle that peak load, um, you know, within uh, an immediacy of time with your, your bigger instances. So that's just really a business decision, not a technical decision at that point. And then, so that's AWS. And if we look at VMware, is the other one that we suppose. So AWS and VMware uh, right out of the gate. And then there will be other instances in the future. But at the same level, so ELB is kind of the traffic distribution point uh, to the per app VEs. So, you know, you come that way from ELB. Uh, so clients, if this is client here, come in through ELB. Uh, on the VMware side, uh, we have this service scaler, big IP. And this is layer four only. There's no SSL offload. Um, here, there's no SSL, no L7. And it's a special license here, but you know that would be an HA pair of, um, and this is the big IP service scaler right there. And, and so that, that particular pair, uh, you know, at a minimum is two 
vCPU and four gig, and then you know can be uh, four vCPU, sixteen gig, and uh, you can do um, like the the um, the uh, AFM firewalling function here, but but nothing uh, above layer four and, and, and no SSL. And so after this point, uh, you know your your environment is really the same. You can have as many VEs to manage your traffic as you need, whether you're going to choose to manually scale that up or you auto scale it through uh, through Big IP. You can do that, and so um, each one of these little clusters here is um, a uh, what the the service a scaling group or SSG. So each one of these is an SSG. Okay, and. And so that can be for any one particular application, any you know one to however many you're licensed for to be able to scale up for that particular app. And so that uh, one thing with the VMware app, you obviously can control your uh, your network access for uh, AWS. You're likely looking at at some kind of a, a VPN in here. So let me do in here think so. Whether it's the data collection device, and and this can um, you know scale up, so you could have multiple data collection devices as your uh, analytics and, and storage and and uh, all that are concerned. But there would be some kind of a VPN layer in here from your VEs uh, to your data collection devices in in your Big IQ. So, in a nutshell, that's Big IQ uh, Cloud Edition. Look for more details that will be coming. Um, and uh, thanks for joining me for this episode. And if you like this video, please subscribe, and we'll see you out there in the community.